Ora apa enkerai ai euni, ore paayu nelotu alo kake mikiyiolo naa apa ajo eetai duo ele sitima. Nelotu naa alo kake tiang' ninye apa katoiwuo amu mikipuo naa apa kilini naa irmao. Nelotu naa alo nabo. Ee. Tumbili, mwanza kujipanga? Mhm. Aka mikiyiolo naa apa duo ajo entoki naata maana. Ini mihari apa tu ngan lagi bu. Anoro anoro riba, amori nolo na ushio sirima, na rayele siri ni angwa shogai, na yelo biye ushio seselai, na wore dana kara kara nda, laga sage shobine shobine enkera yeye ita angwa shake bogi dadi, na wuna ine woya kera begi, ara yelo na biye ushio seselai. Thank you. We have women who come from very far, so transport is a big issue. So it forces us to go with the portable machine there. Even though sometimes you can go there if you have so many mothers, due to electricity problems, you are unable to do many. And again, financial constraints, there are those who say they maybe they are not able to pay. There are those who believe they are, they, they are not supposed to know anything until they wait to the last day when the baby comes. And because of that, you get many mothers getting issues because the scan was very important to know if there was any problem earlier so that it can be solved. But because of the cultural beliefs, it hinders. pregnancy I had a uh, complication uh, most most of the time okay to the end and I, I I feel if I was frequent at that time maybe it could be detected early so I chose this one I'll be more frequent and I'll be more cautious and I will be more diligent so that to avoid anything that will be, I'll be helped and all better.
the WHO recommend at least eight antenatal care visits. And since we started using the community health promoters to sensitize the community and uh, inform them about the importance of early and antenatal care initiation, we've seen a rise in the number of women completing the antenatal care visits and also going for the ultrasound scans in the facility. Africa is lagging behind in, in achieving the targets uh, for maternal mortality uh, for many factors, but I would like to highlight the high levels of adolescent pregnancy and child marriage. And the new technology can really be beneficial because we know that these are very likely uh, pregnancies that will have complications, and this new technology can be substantive uh, uh, in terms of recognizing these complications and do timely referrals to and the proper level of care. We really need to invest in access uh, to family planning by the young people. This is a powerful intervention, it's evidence-based intervention, and without heavy investment in adolescent sexual reproductive health, we will not see a drastic changes in terms of maternal mortality and morbidities. So, I know what you are looking for right now. 